Hey, what's up guys, YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick video while I'm resetting a room, just kind of my process for a cleanup in between runs. Figure a little break from grow content would be nice because I feel like this is extremely important and between every single run, this is pretty much my process. I start off by taking all of my fans apart, dehumidifier filters, and I give those all a good clean. I have a light solution of uh, basically bleach, sodium hypochlorite, comes in many forms and concentrations. And same thing as bleach. So I use like a pool shock, you can grab at Walmart, Big Lots, Ocean State Job Lot, whatever's in your area, um, you know, you say Home Depot, Walmart. And it's the same thing as bleach. The only difference is it's sodium hypochlorite, which you'll see in bleach. This is 12.5% versus I believe bleach is anywhere between four to six percent and then chlorine is probably a little bit higher than like a pool shock so you're getting the same thing and you can grab a bottle of this for you know sometimes four or five bucks and you're getting four times the concentration so you can use it you know four times lighter so this would be equal to about four gallons of regular bleach so this is my preference I also wipe everything down with disinfecting wipes i scrub all of my trays multiple times with the uh, uh, bleach or pool shock solution then i rinse thoroughly with uh, hot water i use hot water the whole time and this one hasn't been done so i've been scrubbing this and i'll start scrubbing it even more these will start to look pretty new this one's almost done and then i do the same thing with my floors thoroughly clean my floors wipe down everything that i could touch with uh the disinfectant wipes including the tops of my lights that like to collect a lot of dust I wipe down my power cords. I mean, you name it. I wipe everything down. Then once that is done, I run a garden clean. 1K is basically a, a gas. It's like a chlorine gas. And that will add additional disinfectant and deodorizing properties to the room. And that's the last thing I do. Close my door because, you know, you, you can't breathe this stuff in the fast release. And I'll put that on top of one of my lights. I'll run all of my fans. I'll run my AC for just a little bit, just so it can get some of that gas through it and kill any mold spores that may be in it. But I do keep my DHU and my fans running. So it's blowing that gas around and it's, it's kind of sucking through my dehumidifier and killing any pathogens there as well. You just can't have your lights on. It is photoreactive, so my lights are turned off. Is just all of my other equipment except for my lights are running. If it has a fan, it runs. So that's what I do, and I haven't had any issues. Even if you think your room is pretty clean, I highly recommend deep scrubbing and deep resetting your room because it only takes one or two spores. And I haven't uh, battled any powdery mildew doing this, so this is my preferred method. And I, I'm probably a little bit overkill, but. I, I keep this room, make it super sterile in between runs. So that way I have a fresh slate. You don't want to be letting dust build up. And it starts to, you know, it ruins your equipment too. It, it, take, it kills the effectiveness of your fans, you know, having the extra weight from dust and everything on there. So that's my method. Let me know what you guys do. Or hopefully maybe I gave someone an idea of using, like I said, the pool shock versus running bleach it's four times stronger for roughly about the same price so highly recommend that if you got anything out of this video but that's it wanted to keep it short and simple thanks for tuning in peace